Hey guys, what's going on? In this video, we're going to learn how to make a mask that has uh, floors, curtain walls, so uh, a quick copy of these floors all the way up to save some time, so some shortcuts here. I'm going to open up a new file here, and so under level one, I'm going to click on wall. You can choose like a generic wall and turn it into a concrete, so I'm going to show you that real fast. Click on edit type, duplicate, type in eight inch concrete, and then under structure, say edit under material click on that click on the three dots and then from there you can search for concrete and then you'll see concrete come up I'm going to choose cast in place say OK and then say OK eight inches might be too thin for this but I just want to show you how to edit that now with this I can go through and just kind of draw out uh, a shape of a building I want to to use so we're going to just choose something kind of crazy and then over here in 3D, you'll see that this thing is just going up above level 2. If I highlight it, you'll see that I can change the top constraint to level 2. Now, let's copy and paste up some new levels. So under my elevations view, I can go to level in the architecture tab above the datum panel. With level, we can do pick lines, and we can do an offset on pick lines to 10 feet. And then this will allow us to just jump up. Look at where the preview is before you click to make sure that your lines keep offsetting going up and not down. Otherwise, you have overlapping levels. I'm going to go and make uh, seven levels here. Hit escape twice. And then I'm going to do a crossing window from right to left. Select those walls. And then I'm going to go and change the top constraint up to level seven and say apply. And now we have this in 3D. We can see what that looks like. And then over here, I'm going to collapse my ceiling plans. I'm going to go to my floor plan level one. My level one floor, I'm going to make on the outside of the building. And that will be more of like a building pad. So I'm going to do pick lines. I'm going to choose the outside edges of my building. And then I'm going to check. And in 3D, you see I have the floor now right here. Under level two, we're going to go on the inside of the building. And then we have a shortcut for this. And I'm going to do the pick walls on this one just so you can see something different. The two lines that show up next to the first thing I click on shows like the direction beams would go in a floor. And I'm going to check this and I'm going to say no. So no. And then with this still selected, I'm going to go to copy to clipboard. And then I'm going to go to paste, align the selected levels. We have level one and level two done. We're going to go hold down shift and go to level six, say OK. So from level three to level six, we just copied that floor. If we go to 3D, I click on one of these walls so it becomes transparent. You can see all those in there. Level seven is going to be our roof. Since we can't see our roof, we're going to go to underlay, drop that down, and underlay level six so we can see that as transparent. Uh, and see our level six below for roof. Roof by footprint works in this view. I'm going to uncheck the find slope and then I'm going to do pick walls and I'm going to do a one foot overhang. I'm going to click once again pay attention to your preview line to make sure everything's good. And then after this I'm going to hit escape twice, pick on one of these walls, or one of the, the lines I mean, <clears throat> and then we're going to check to find slope. It says 912. Let's change that to 212. So you can just hit 2 and hit enter. It knows you're talking about a 212. Hit check in 3D. Let's see what that looks like. So we've got this open. And then we can go and select all these walls. So we can do that in level 6. I can hold down control and just select all the walls here. There's also another way to do this. We could cross the whole thing. So here's the other way to do it. We can cross the whole thing. You can also select your floors this way. You can go to filter, and then you want just your wall. And then I say OK. So now my walls are selected. I can go to 3D. If I hit Control in the left arrow, I can um, select my previous selection from my previous view. And then I can say Attach Top Base and click on the roof. And now I have that all connected to my roof. And now we need to throw in the uh, curtain walls. So I'm going to go to level 1. Under the wall command, I'm going to use the uh, type selector here and drop down, scroll down, and then go to curtain wall uh, storefront. That has all the mullions already pre-built into there. There's a lot you can edit with curtain walls. You can see a couple other videos on how to do that. Um, but I'm going to go to edit type, and I have to make sure automatically embed is checked. I'm going to say OK. 
And then here, what I see is my base offset from level one. I want my curtain wall like sill to be 18 inches above level one. You can choose whatever you want. And then I'm gonna throw it up to level two, up to level two. And I want it to be one foot down from level two. So I'm gonna type in a negative one there. And then here I can go and just kind of bring this thing all the way through. And it depends on kind of what you're thinking for your structure. Like I'm right now thinking maybe this thing has like a steel exoskeleton and maybe the concrete I'm seeing is like, uh, I don't know, like concrete panels. So this is really kind of undefined. The reason I bring this up is if you draw curtain wall glass all the way through your structure, you might want to pay attention to like where things are going to actually be load bearing if you want to start thinking ahead on the structure part. All right, so in 3D, I can see that I have these curtain walls, but they're not all the way up yet. I'm going to go back to level one. I'm going to click on one of the curtain walls. I'm going to right click then and say select all instances in entire view. So now all my curtain walls are selected. And then I'm going to do the same trick. We're going to do, do copy to clipboard. And then we're going to do paste, align to selected levels. We want level two, hold down shift through level six, say OK. And then from here, I can go check it out in 3D. And now we have our basically shell done really fast, really quick. We can go and detail that out or use it just for some conceptual design. Throw this into shaded. And then I like to hide these guys in. Um, in 3D. Alright, don't forget to save and subscribe if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys next time.